Well, you know it's a big series, Red Sox Yankees. You got Hall of Famers walking around just pulling up and I'm saying hello. Around. Reggie I'm Jackson with around. us here. Hey, tell us real quickly, you see this Yankee team more than we do. Is that offense for real? Is it that scary? I mean, you we're look up and good. down. There's we're, power. We're, we're pretty good. We're pretty good. I was talking to one of the analytical guys the other day, and he said that in our nine positions, I think we're the first team ever to have 20 home runs out of that spot. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. But, you know, I will say that we play in one of the smaller ballparks in, in baseball. We've seen so, that. We've seen that. You, know, you hit fly ball over there, you know, it's a home run, really. Now think about it. We, we kind of consider that Yankee team a team that uh, if they don't hit home runs, they're not going to win. They're not the same complete team. I'm, I'm saying that back when you hit all the home runs for the Yankees, you still had a complete no, team around you that could score some top. runs. That's, that's a back door. After you got in there and you you messed it up. No, I'm you saying they ain't winning if up. they don't hit the ball bring out of the park. You know in. it, Reggie. You know, Reg. Bring me back in and try to save it. <laughs> I ain't letting you say I want all these people to know when this guy played, I thought he was crazy. <laughs> and I, I really did. And a lot of people did. But However, at my age now, 72, I finally am starting to understand him because I'm losing a little bit of my mind. <laughs> but it's so you get it, it now. It makes no, you now. get it now. It makes a little sense right. now. But, well, uh, guy no, played harder than ball. anyone I saw play. No, no, we got no, you. We, we're, 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 we're pretty good. Yeah. We're, we're pretty yeah. good. You know, we had a little struggles, uh, you know, toward the end there. You know, some of our young kids and stuff like that just making the adjustments. And uh, Stanton was alone for a while because we had missed Judge. We right. missed Severino for a while. Didi Gregorius was out. I'm starting to present my case now. Right. You know. Everybody's healthy now. Everybody's healthy now. At the same time, you guys won 108, and you probably would have won a couple of more, but you took the foot off. You took your yeah. foot off the gas for a while. That can be dangerous, right? Uh, it's it, hard to the, turn it back uh, no, on. No, 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 no. They're good. They're good. Yeah. All that stuff you trying to make up, like they can't turn it on or they can't do this. When you're good, that boy that hits third or fourth, JD. JD, JD Martinez. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, so I'm gonna boy. ask you that. You're Mr. October you because watch the guy swing the bat, ladies and with young people, watch that kid swing the bat. Watch JD swing the bat. You were Mr. October. You didn't let the stakes getting higher affect your approach oh, at the plate. I, so when you look at no, a Stanton, because I knew it was all mine anyway. But when you look at a Stanton now. A guy who's experiencing this for the first time. You look at a JD Martinez who's got a little bit of a playoff experience. What's going to be the biggest challenge for them to continue doing it you as know, the you stakes know, the get only higher? The thing I'll say is, you, you, you get picked out two guys there. They're really, really good. You, you don't hit 330 with 40 and drive in 130 or 40, whatever it is. The, the judge struck out 200 with man. That man hit 52. And, yeah. and we got a small ballpark, but he hit 52. If you hit 52 home runs down here in the lobby that I'm standing in, in the Taj or whatever it is, that's them 52 homers. There's no cheap ones. And and you guys are, are you're won 108 games, so I call you the best team in baseball. You won't be unless you have sale. Sale is sale is the ticket. If you can if you can play that ace, you get to play it twice now because he's coming tomorrow. You, you might have a you know you might have a better hand to show. Now, now let me give you a compliment that's not backhanded. When I first came into the league and I watched Resi play, obviously you were established, you were a superstar, you were a Hall of Famer already. Say that I, again. You were a Hall of Famer even before I got there. I watched you hit a ground ball, weak ground ball to the second baseman, and I watched you bust your tail all the way down the line. And I said, if this man can do it at an older age after already knowing that he's going to be in the Hall of Fame, then there's no excuse for me to never do it. And that was one of the reasons why I always try to pattern my game hustling after the way you play. No, I honestly will say to you, um, that is the highest compliment that you can pay me. If you have great talent, you know, the game becomes a little bit easier. But it's hard to run hard or run out every play, run as hard as you can. That doesn't mean you're fast, but you still run as hard as you can all of the time. So you appreciate the game, have a reverence for it, appreciating being to wear the Yankee uniform or the A's and the, the Orioles and all the ones I, <laughs> I, I wore and, and, and the great franchise of the, of the Boston Red Sox. You should be privileged to wear it and be able to come inside this ballpark and play for these fans. My dad used to say it takes no ability to hustle. That's right. It doesn't take any ability to hustle. It takes care and appreciation and respect.
Well, it's great to have you back here at Fenway Park. It's going to be fun. I appreciate coming here. It's a great franchise, and I look forward to us. But <laughs> it is going to be a good. It's a great Reggie fun. Jackson yeah. with Reggie us Jackson here. Thanks for stopping by, man. I appreciate it. Socks right. and Yankees.